Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start with a song. Shemi no re oluwa. Shemi no re oluwa. Shemi no re oluwa. Shemi no re oluwa. Emi eru pe hile la sante shile niyo. Eru pe hile la sante shilo go. Mi ojora mi loju mo fo pe fu. Shemi no re olu. I just want to thank God for everything He has done in my life, my family. Um, 2020, we should have been dead. Myself and the kids. When the house went on fire, but we thank God He spared us to this very moment. I just thank God. I stepped out within five minutes to get to go get something in the car. Then I went back inside. Myself and the kids were in the living room eating. I sent the the older one, my son, to go get a napkin from the kitchen. Then he was the one that saw the fire. I don't know what would have happened. Maybe, we, maybe the fire would just you know, scramble everyone inside the house. But I just thank God. We saw the fire. We were able to run out of the house that night. We reached out to the pastor. We reached out to everybody. And God just made a way for us. From there we, made, we moved on. I just want to thank God for taking that off, for spraying us that night. Praise to God. Each year doesn't start well with my family. I don't know. But this 2020 started well. I just want to thank God. 2021, I lost my uncle. It's just my dad and him. Beginning of, you know, 2021, everybody was saying, Happy New Year, greeting each other. But my family, we were mourning because we lost him. January, I mean, we were meant to cross over. Then we lost him. And he's a very good man. He's just, he's just, they're just two. He has just two kids. They're just two, him and my, my dad. We lost him. And I go, I believe God will just, you know, perfect everything concerning his family and my family. I just want to thank God for my son's life and he's, he's graduating, like he's moving up to grade one. I just want to thank God for Clara and everybody, my husband, for the whole family. And I pray God we bless the whole church because everyone stood by us that day when we had the fire issue. Pastor, Mrs. Pastor, I just want to say thank you. And I'm kneeling down before God because I believe I'm coming back here with a testimony, a greater one, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your protection. Your word says that you will hide us in your strong tower, in your secret place, that you will cover us with your wings. Thank you for protecting the Akiwande family. Thank you for breaking that curse that every year ends starts badly. From today, every year we start well. And every year we'll finish well. God will be with you. That testimony you are asking him for, you will come back to give it in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Right in the middle of all that was going on, their, fire, their house just caught fire and I think they have three, three children. At, is it two or three? Two children at home and she was home and the boy just went to get something and he saw the fire. And that place, when I went there to see the house the same day they called me, the um, back exit, there's no way they would have got out of it because the, the landlord had locked it up and they had all sorts of things there. There was only one exit. And if they were in on the other side, they won't get out. They, there's no way. It's, it's, it was, and the house burned to ash. I mean, the, the apartment was ashes. So, you know, when we, can you imagine if it happened at night? And that, so we give God the glory. We don't know what God, you know, this is why I'm giving the time. Because this is what God laid my, let's just thank him. And we thank God for it. And God will continue to protect all of us. I will not hear bad news concerning any of you.